Hey guys, welcome back to Program Up. And today in this episode, we're gonna learn how can you install and set up Android Studio in your new MacBook Pro M1 Pro or M1 Max. So today in this episode, we'll be learning the complete process of installing and set up Android Studio from start to the end. We'll also be learning how to install JDK 8 that is required for Android Studio, that is Android building pro projects. So you'll require JDK 8 to be installed as well. Now JDK 8 is available into two variants. One is for the Intel Macs and the other one is for the Apple Silicon Macs. So we'll be learning both the ways, whichever you want, whichever you feel preferable. So you can go along with that. By the way, we recommend you to install the JDK 8 for the Apple Silicon. So let's get started into the machine. So let's get firstly and let's try to install Homebrew. Now Homebrew is a package manager for Mac OS. That is required over here because we'll be installing JDK 8 for the Intel Macs as well. So firstly, we will go ahead and install Homebrew. So let's get into the terminal and try to run the command. So we are into the terminal. Now let's enter the command and enter. Okay. So we are now asked over here for the password. So I'll just enter the password. Yes. It's saying that the Xcode command line tools will be installed since I haven't already installed Xcode. So it will install the Xcode command line tools. So I'll just press return to continue and it will take some while to install the homebrew because it's downloading the Xcode command line. So it can take approximately two to 10 minutes depending upon your internet connection speed. So we'll just try to fast forward this so that it becomes really easier and quick for you. So we'll be now it's downloading the command line tools. So we'll fast forward this to the point where it's downloaded and installed completely. So finally, we are done with installing homebrew and now there is a warning that says that op slash homebrew slash bin is not in your path. So the path for homebrew is not set up. So we need to set that up and it has become really easy. By the way, there is already given here. Next steps, run these two commands in your terminal to add homebrew to your path. So we just need to copy these two commands. I'll just copy this up. Okay. And I'll just run this. Okay. So paste it and so done. So if we just go here to echo path, we can see that our homebrew is into our path. And if I just run brew, I can see all the commands for homebrew. So homebrew is now installed successfully. Okay. Now let's head towards the next step. Now the next step is installing Java. So firstly, we'll be installing Java for x86 architecture that is for the Intel Max. And then we will install JDK 8 for the Apple Silicon. Okay. And whichever you like it, you can just go along with that. We recommend you installing for the Apple Silicon variant that will perform that will perform much more better into your new MacBooks. So let's get ahead with the first thing that is for the Intel Macs. So for installing for the Intel architecture, you need to install Rosetta 2 because it will be utilizing Rosetta 2 for the translation. So let's go ahead, copy the command and hit paste it and hit return so it asks for the password enter the password for your computer it says type a to agree yes we agree to it type a enter it's installing installation for the rosetta is now done let's go ahead now install java using homebrew so let's copy up the command once again paste this and hit return it's installing it will take a few minutes. It's done. Let's go ahead, copy the another command for final installation of open JDK. So, oops, there's an error. So guys, I've already given you an optional command. So if by the way, that command fails in, there's an optional command given that if it doesn't work, try using the other, other command. The command that I have used is this one. So you can use it. Okay. By the way, all the instructions are down into the description below. You can go ahead to that link and have a look. So if you want to follow along with this complete procedure of installing, you can just very easily follow this. Okay. So we'll be fast forwarding this once again, because it will take us some while, some few minutes for installing it. Okay. So now Java is installed for the x86 architecture if we go around into our computer then macintosh library and into the java folder java virtual machines we can see here 
adopt open jdk 8 so this is for the x86 architecture we will also be installing for the apple silicon so how can you install for the apple silicon so for apple silicon you need to install azul zulu open jdk 8 for arm processors so the link is down in the description below so i'll click here simply and there is a direct link for the dmg file also available so i have also pasted that into the instruction sheet so you can just follow along i'll download this okay just a few seconds to download yes it's done so i'll open this now this is opened up so it says that double click to install so i'll double click this and continue install enter the password installing the software so that's done close move to bin i do not want the installation file now into the java virtual machines you can see there are two folders one is for the x86 architecture and the other one is for the arm processor that is the apple silicon okay so both the versions are installed now we need to set the path for java home so that's really easy so we just need to get into the terminal once again okay i'll head over to the instruction sheet yeah now open the terminal type nano zshrc so if you do not have this if there's any error you can try typing and source zshrc okay now we are here into this nano to set the path so i have already provided you the path as well okay so i'll just paste this so guys we have set the path for both of the jdk variants the first path that we have here for the zulu this is for the apple silicon and the next one is for the intel max so i'll try to comment up the second one because i don't need the x86 architecture jdk to be running if you want that to be running so you just need to comment the apple silicon one that, that is the first one so you if you just add hash before the x path so it will be commented out okay so right now i need the apple silicon version so i'll be commenting the x86 okay so this is now commented press Control x y and return so it's now saved now we need to source the file so let's copy and paste source and now if you want to check if the java home path is set correctly so you just need to paste this echo java home now you can see that java home path is set up correctly okay so there is no problem so we have done installing java okay so we'll be recommending you to install the java variant for the apple silicon that is easier to do and as well as much more efficient into the performance as well okay let's get ahead now now the final part installing android studio so there is in one note for everyone installing android studio the current version of the android studio for the arm processors has a little bit of an issue while installing so we'll be heading over into the archive section and trying to find a stable version the most stable version that i was able to find was released on 28th of july 2021 so i'll be downloading that variant so i've already provided you the link for the archive so you just need to move to the archive section accept the terms and condition and come to july 28 okay so on july 28 we can see that android studio arctic fox 2020.3.1 so into this we have the mac arm version available right click on this uh, and download it okay so i'll be downloading this okay so let's hit download so it will take some while i'll fast forward once again for the downloading till the downloading gets completed okay so guys we have downloaded android studio and let's go ahead now to install that okay so heading here into the downloads folder i can see here that android studio downloaded so i'll just click over here and try to move this into the applications folder okay so i have moved it into the applications folder okay getting to the launcher i can see here android studio click over it and now open this i'll just clean some android studio needs to be updated okay do not import settings so I do not have any settings right now to be imported. So I'm not uh, send usage statistics update. I'll just cancel this for the moment. And then I'll click next. 
standard next next and these are some of the files and the SDK platforms to be downloaded so it will take a while to download this let's proceed with it finish so it will download these all files and SDKs so installing Android emulator once again it will take some while so we'll be fast forwarding this once again so guys we are finally done with installing the Android studio it's completed let's hit finish so now we are finally onto the screen where we have welcome to Android studio so we'll be just heading over to an SDK and we can see here that SDK is installed okay so it's installed for Android 12 API level 31 okay let's quit okay also let's try to run the AVD that is the emulator so now our emulator is also running so this is how you can set up the complete environment and android studio in your new macbook pro m1 pro so guys if you have any more questions with which i can help you with please comment it down below i'll be happy to help you out and if you liked our video so please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel and meet you in the next episode till then goodbye